yes. people. That you, 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 you don't like too much collaboration. You yes. prefer, you said that you, yes. you don't like too much collaboration. You're not looking yes. for collaboration. But yes. now in these times, uh, yes. when I was a student, yes. Yes. if you wanted to, to think, to see something that happened or somebody that was studying, you have yes. to look in 20 books about yes. this guy. To look, if somebody was studying or doing something yes. similar, now with the internet, it's very easy, let's say, yes. to be collaborating with other countries or to be in touch, looking what they are doing in other countries. You started and you have a background with Israel. You are, yes. you are now in Mexico. You said you don't like too much collaboration, but it's important to be in, in, in touch or to be exchanging information with okay, the Batman exactly. Institute. Are you doing something of that or you're just concreting Everything in LA for example. No, no, first of all, I'm talking, I'm not necessarily a general model. I like to write, <laughs> but with one or two, whatever, Mike Levy to got the prize for me, I like very much to collaborate with him. But when I try to solve a problem, I don't uh, travel to the lab of new problem, to the lab of the person. I start to read, and this is where the internet helps. I start to find articles in the last 15 years on these subjects. I start to read them, sometimes in the evening or when I watch television. And then when I start to understand what is happening, I could call the people that I think are the top in this field and say I don't understand it. I will still, uh, if I want somebody to do experiment, I could do it by email or phone, and whether you call it collaboration or not, sometimes they don't like you to predict what will be the result, so there is also a problem in this. I mean, they, Why not? They are jealous they, they, about No, if that? they do experiment and you do calculations, All right. and they say, okay, you publish it first, and we say, if, by the way, if you're right, they won't say it. So, uh, Collaboration I conceive as people who are doing the same thing together. And then a large number does not help you. Uh, if you want to teach young people your approaches, I don't call it collaboration, it's a, it's a teaching. Uh, if somebody go to an expert lab and learn, it's kind of training. Collaboration happens, uh, you know, in physics. Uh, there are thousand people on one paper. All of them work on the same project. Uh, I clearly would not enjoy, uh, that. you know, to be in, uh, okay. in Geneva in this uh, physicist uh, thing. Okay, yeah. so Professor, I wanted to ask. I mean, what is next for your research? I mean, you've been working decades in yes. in, in, in the in, in, in trying to, to apply computer models to the yeah. molecular biology. So what is next? Is it, is it is going to be, I mean, are you going to continue researching or are yes. you planning probably yeah, getting in touch, I don't know, probably for a, a pharmaceutical lab to say, okay, I think I have solved it, maybe we can try out to see if we can develop a new medicines. What do you see in so, the next short term? So first of all, I continue with the same research. Uh, I try every time to see how well I could predict known results. And once in a while I talk with pharmaceutical companies, but I, I am pushing more to see how fast I could give correct prediction rather than going to... Uh, so I, I do visit and talk with pharmaceutical companies, but it's not uh, it's not my main direction. I I will not be extremely rich, so it's not uh, a direction that I'm looking at. But, I, I, but then again, I, I'm trying to reach a stage where I know that I could give a reasonable prediction, for example, for drug resistance in a reasonable time. So this is kind of one of my main direction, where the more I feel confident about it, the more I likely to be in contact with all sorts of companies. Okay. 